Microeconomics Microeconomics is basically a branch of economics that studies the behavior of how the individual modern household and firms make decisions to allocate limited resources. There are two models of market structure, perfectly competitive market and imperfectly competitive market. First, perfect competition is an industry structure in which there are many firms producing virtually identical products and in which no firm is large enough to have any control over price. And examples of this are the products in the public market like vegetables, fruits, eggs, fishes, and many more. An imperfect competition is an industry in which single firms have some control over price and competition. Monopoly is an industry composed of only one firm that produces a product for which there are no close substitutes and in which significant barriers exist to prevent new firms from entering the industry. And Microsoft is an example of monopoly. Next is oligopoly. This is another form of industry structure characterized by a few dominant firms. Products may be homogeneous or differentiated. An example of this is Toyota, Honda, and Mitsubishi. They tend to look at each other's action before they make an action, like in looking at each other's product innovations or new models of cars. Another one is Mangbox, Andox, and Baliwag, the three major Lechon Manok sellers. They also look for each other's action, like in changing their prices or having product innovations. And last is monopolistic competition. It is a common form of industry structure characterized by a large number of firms and none of which can influence the market price. There are low barriers to entry and this may be homogeneous or differentiated. Examples are the different sellers of rubbing alcohol and sellers of donuts. Their products are all the same. It's just that it only differs in some things like their prices, place and location, packaging, advertisements, brand, quality, services, and taglines. Externality. It is a cost or benefit resulting from some activity or transaction that is imposed or bestowed upon parties outside the activity or transaction. It is sometimes called spillovers or neighborhood effects. For example, whatever firms 1, 2, 3, 4 do, firms 5, 6, 7, 8 will be affected. It may either be positive externality or negative externality. When external costs are not considered in economic decisions, we may produce products that are not worth it. And when external benefits are not considered, we may fail to do things that are indeed worth it. One externality is public goods. These are goods that are not rival in consumption and their benefits are non excludable Public goods are example of this. Another one is imperfect information, adverse selection, and moral hazard are under this. So basically, adverse selection can occur when a buyer or seller enters into an exchange with another party who has more information. And moral hazard arises when one party to a contract passes too close to cost of his or her behavior as to the other party to the contract. And last is the social choice. It is the process of adding up individual preferences to make a choice for society as a whole. These are some of the things that I have learned in microeconomics with the help of my professor. As a business student, studying economics is really important because as future businesswoman, knowing when to stop operating or still continue operating a business is really a big help and this is all because of microeconomics.